Haskell City Council meeting taking an abrupt turn after a father accuses the city's police chief of not protecting his teenage daughter and accuses another officer of harassing her. Kate Ternace House spoke with parents in the community about this shocking accusation. She joins us live in studio. And Katrin, this isn't the first time a Haskell police officer has been accused of something like this. Yeah, Laura, that's right. And many people in town simply want more to be done. Since Monday, stories have been brought to light of other worrisome behaviors from officers, with many saying they believe the department just needs a clean start. But this type of behavior has happened before in Haskell in a stretch of events that spans more than 10 years. Your officers have no right, no right whatsoever to prey on our young girls. None. It's a video that captured the attention of thousands. A routine Haskell City Council meeting turned into a call for justice. That rests on your shoulders. May it rest on your shoulders too. Quinn Best, a law enforcement official himself, confronting city leaders after he says his 17 year old daughter was targeted by a Haskell police officer. Decided that he would just social media reach out to my daughter after following her around after a traffic stop. Best's passionate plea was watched by thousands, sparking a call for change. They're not doing what they're supposed to do as an elected official. Nicole Horvath's daughter is the same age as Best's. Horvath was at Monday's city council meeting and says this type of behavior isn't new. This isn't Haskell's first time or second time or even third time. Council members were shown screenshots of social media posts, teen girls sharing private messages and pictures of officers at parties. She went to a lot of parties and a lot of the officers would party with the girls. Teresa Marley remembers similar things happening to her family in 2008 under a different chief, but the same department. It just always seems to be an issue with the police officers at Haskell. Current Chief Mike Watson was at the city council meeting. Disciplinary action was taken against this officer. We reached out to him for comment, but didn't get an answer. A representative for Mayor Roy Carmen's office says they couldn't speak either. No, ma'am, we're not going to comment. Which leaves the city wondering what comes next and parents warning their girls they're supposed to protect them, not prey on them, to be careful. Now, as of Monday, the officer in question was still on duty at the Haskell Police Department. It's not clear what that disciplinary action was. As for best, he hopes to call another city council meeting before school starts next month and would like to see that officer fired for his behavior. Back to you, Laura. Katrin, thank you. Now, other Haskell police officers have gotten in trouble before. In 2011, Ashley Bennett sued the city in federal court after she says an officer chased her around her workplace, demanding she expose herself to him. The court siding with Bennett in that case. She was at the city council meeting Monday to show her support for young girls living in Haskell. In 2015, Officer Kyle Vaughn was arrested for sexual assault and child porn charges. He was later sentenced to five years in prison. Benton police asked.